Hi everybody, my name is Mark Smullyan. I'm a bass player, musician, producer. I've had done some amazing stuff. I've played on stages all over the world, big ones, little ones. I've got gold and platinum credits. I'm having an amazing time and I'm blessed to be able to do music. I want to talk today about the fundamentals of being a professional bass player. I'm not going to get into specific techniques or things. I just want to give you fundamental things you must bring with you to the mix and what's expected from you as a bass player. And it breaks down to three really simple things. First and foremost, of course, rhythm. Secondly, knowledge of the fretboard, what we call fingerboard harmony, so you can find the notes quickly and create lines that suit you. And thirdly, your own sound and your own voice so that you can take the combination of these skills that we're talking about and bring your own energy and who you are to the mix, which of course is what people are looking for. They want to get you. So getting straight to it, we're going to start with the rhythm. Here's my trusty metronome brought it in 1980 in New York City, Manhattan. I think it may have been the first digital one out. Still looks like an old traditional one and it's got a really weird sound and this is what it sounds like. I've got it here on 66. Yep, 66 BPM. And all I'm doing is I'm focusing on my right hand. I'm breathing deep, okay? And I'm gonna start with my right hand just playing every now and then notes. I'm not trying to do it with every click, every beat, okay? I'm just making sure that I'm focused and I'm gonna take a deep breath and I'm gonna explain in a second why this is so important. And all I do is put my hand where it's comfortable and when I hear the notes, duck, 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 I get it in my body first. If you can say it, you can play it. And here we go. And I let it ring, okay? Stop the note. Now I'm gonna go to the next finger. Okay, I know it's simple, but what I'm doing is I'm focusing on the dynamics and the velocity between the two fingers. So I want them to be even. This is really important. So when I do it, I have one, two, three, four. Now I want to be sure that they're even, okay? Not really loud, and this one quieter, okay? Or the opposite, let's say, okay? Seems very simple. I'm just gonna stop the metronome for a second, all right? Because I wanna say a couple of things. First of all, bit of science, very important. The way our brain lays down new information is that it creates neuron networks in our brain. And as we develop something new, it starts to lay down those little pathways. And the more they wire and fire together, the quicker and better it becomes and the more natural it is. And that's why it's good to practice a lot. And repetition is important. But every time we make a mistake, what we think of as a mistake, I play incorrectly or too fast, then my brain lays down that information as well. So then I've got a double whammy because I have to go back, undo the information I laid down and re-lay down the original information. So slow is the secret to success. So there's a wonderful story by Winston Churchill who was in a hurry to get to a meeting. He gets into his car and he says to his driver, George, drive really slowly because I'm in a real hurry. Take that in mind. It's very important. The slower you go, the quicker you will learn. So one more time. I put it on, okay, slow tempo, be comfortable, okay? It's very simple what I'm saying. It's kind of meditation. Check I'm breathing and I start to play. And as I'm doing it, okay, I can keep on thinking and I'm listening to the metronome, but I'm also practicing as I speak to you to hear outside of just that. It's not just about me. Why? Because bass players, we need to hear what's going on all the time. We're well, all musicians, but bass players, it's vital. So this never ends now. I'm going to stop here in a second, but this is very important because we're going to be incorporating this idea into our next exercise. So we'll be doing two exercises at once, okay? And it becomes a whole global exercise that if you do it every day, persistently, for 20 minutes, I promise you within six months, you will be motherfuckers. Take it from me. Have a great day. Only good stuff. Play the best.